This is not a mosquito. It's actually called a crane fly. Don't feel bad. You weren't wrong for thinking them as big mosquitoes. Everybody does that. <laughs> well, that makes me feel better now that I've seen them everywhere, including my house, my yard, and even on the outside of the Weather Network building. But I still wonder, can they suck my blood? They're not blood suckers, so you don't need to worry about them being like this crazy mosquito on steroids that's going to come after you. The crane fly can be seen at various times of the year. It's not season specific, but it does prefer some environments over others. There's so many species, they come out as, well, there's some winter crane flies that you could even see flying in February or March. I've never seen them myself. And then all through the spring, all through the summer. So be, just because there's so many kinds, you could kind of see them all the time. It's been getting cool, then all of a sudden we get a warm spell. It's probably just like spiking them and they're like, okay, let's come out and get on it. The fact that these insects don't bite, well, that's positive. And that's only one good thing about these large winged creatures. They also help the ecosystem and people who spend time outdoors, especially fishermen. Their main purpose is being part of the food chain. They are ex an extremely important food source for small mammals, fish, uh, or other aquatic organisms, birds, all of that, uh, both as larvae and as adults. Believe it or not, there are over 15,000 different species in North America. If you're a, an outdoorsman or a fisherman, they would be of extreme importance to you if you enjoy um, catching fish or doing fly fishing because of that whole part of the food chain, but they're, they're totally benign. So if you see a crane fly in your house or on your screen door, don't fret. They're not harmful. They're really just saying hi.